What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Techonomics and in this video I'm going to be changing it up a little bit and trying out a new series that I'm thinking about starting on my uh, channel as you guys can tell by the title of the video. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to pressure test your engine cooling system and uh, I'm going to try and start doing uh, different videos on car, like car care tips, car care help and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of incorporate because I'm Techonomics, like the, the channel name is Techonomics, I'm going to kind of incorporate car stuff and electronics because most people like you know the, this day and age look at look at my wall of boxes so um people people need technology like or they don't need technology but that's the way things are going now people everybody is using technology so i'm gonna make tech reviews like i've been doing unboxing videos um show you guys how to do different things on my channel and then i'm also going to incorporate because people people need vehicles right so i'm going to go ahead and start doing car care tips because you got car guys out there like me that like you know we, I'm, I work on cars and you know I take care of my car like I, I always make sure my car is clean like my car is dirty as ever right now and I just I, I really want to get it washed so I'm working on getting all of that done but I'm going to show you guys how to do different things on the cars and uh, I'm going to try it out if you guys like it let me know down in the description and everything or down in the description down in the comments and everything and if you guys like it I'll continue it. Alright, so like I said, I am going to show you guys how to pressure test your uh, engine cooling system to find out if there's any leaks in your system, which I, I knew I had a leak in mind in the video, uh, but I just wanted to confirm it and where it was coming from and made sure that was the only place that it was coming from before I start back up my car. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so first things first, let me tell you guys what you guys need, like all of the stuff. It's some basic stuff. It's not like you need to go out and buy like a $90 freaking pressure or uh, pressure tester for your cooling system. You just need, it's basic stuff that most nowadays everybody has laying around their house. So today you're going to need a pump, an air pump. It could be a bike pump or it could be, a, you know, a high pressure pump like storage tank, anything like that. Just an air pump in general. So that way you're able to pressurize the system. And you're going to also need a reservoir, a overflow reservoir, and the hose connected to the high pressure cap on your radiator. And you're going to need eyes and ears, of course, to be able to watch this video and uh, to be able to do, perform this high pressure test. Okay, now let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, guys, so today we're going to be working with an 04 Infinity, G, Infinity G35, excuse me. Um, and we're going to be pressure testing the coolant system, or the cooling system, engine cooling system. And uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, I got a flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to go ahead and pop these little things off so I can take off the air intake and uh, get better access to right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these out. These things come out real easy. And then I'll, I've only got one on mine, but usually there's supposed to be two on here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this right out and just throw this to the side. Next thing you're going to want to do is take off all four screws if you have the cover on your engine cover. And uh, I'm going to try and do I'm going to do that so I can get better access to seeing down here where the thermostat is where I believe it's leaking. And as you guys can see, it's already leaking coolant on the ground and I didn't even do anything already. So, we're going to go ahead and find out where that leak is coming from. And you're going to want to go ahead and lift this right off and go ahead and put that to the side. All right, guys. So, what you're going to want to do is this will only you can only perform this test if you have a reservoir and and a like what is it called uh, um overflow tank and uh you have this connection to your high pressure hose or to your high pressure like to the radiator cap or whatever and you're going to want to grab this slide this back and go ahead and pop off this hose now there might be coolant that comes out of here so we just want to tip it over you can see a little bit of coolant in there you want to just throw this out of the way so that way it doesn't get all over the place. And I'm probably just gonna tuck it under here, honestly. Yeah, that works. So now we have access to this and you're gonna wanna make sure this is on and this is on tight and it's locked in there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a pump, an air pump, and uh, I, got, I just got like my little bike pump or whatever. And uh, you're gonna wanna connect this to that port right there. And this is gonna have to probably go up on the engine like this. That way I can get a good connection to it. And we found our coolant leak. It's 
coming from right where the thermostat is. So I guarantee you it's going to be the thermostat gasket and I'm probably going to put something down because that's bad leaking like that. And just for future reference you are going to want to put something down. I did put something down so that you can see it's catching the, uh, the coolant and I went ahead and threw some water down so that can wash away the other coolant. And now once you're done you're going to do reverse, do everything in reverse. You're going to want to make sure you put this hose back on, your overflow hose back on right here and make sure you put the clip back on there. on your cover get this out of the way and your air intake and make sure you put the clips back on there and the bolts all right guys so that wraps up this video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button down below that helps me out a ton and i'd very much appreciate it also be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter at underscore techonomics the link is down below and like i said in the beginning of this video so this is just a little test video i guess you guys can say and uh, if you guys enjoyed it, I will go ahead and continue to make, like, continue this series on my uh, channel and go ahead and start making more car care tips and everything. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I plan on doing if it, like, if this takes off and everything. So go ahead and uh, hit the like button down below. That that will let me know that you guys enjoyed it and, uh, and, that, and that you guys want more. Or you guys can go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I'd very much appreciate it. All right, guys, so that's all I got for you. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace. By the way, like I said in the previous video, which is my iPhone 6S Plus unboxing, I'm going to be doing a review on my uh, Turtle Beach headsets, my Stealth 400s. So that video is definitely next. That's coming up next week. All right, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys over in that video. Peace.